My next guest is set to star alongside Sean Williamson in the musical Elf, a Christmas spectacular. But before that, we'll see Kim Marsh's character Michelle walk down the aisle in tomorrow night's Coronation Street. Well, will we though? <sighs> will you marry me? Vicky, <laughs> Jeffries. Will you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Where are you, anyway? Just, just left Stoke near Sandbach. Robert? What was he even doing in Macclesfield? Ah, that's what I'd like to know. Get out of my sight! Hang on, that's... That's Vicky Tyler's mum. Oh, my God. Your pregnant Irish girlfriend. I want to take him for everything he's got. Robert, your fiance. Yeah, that's right. Are you sure you want to do this? Well, Kim joins me now. So you get that far. Yeah. You get that far where yeah. Yeah, the, the, I loved the veil going down and the sort of like, I am, I'm, I'm in it. It's very dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> no one really wears a veil over their face when they get married anymore, do I they? I guess really? they do, and it's kind of old fashioned now, I suppose. It's just for effect. Oh, a fantastic <laughs> effect. Now, look, I'd love to know. There's part of me that really wants to know everything, but we okay. don't want to spoil it, and I really don't want to know. Well. No. Suffice to say, it will be dramatic. It will be dramatic, <laughs> as has most of my storylines on Coronation Street. I know, I know. Yeah, it will be dramatic. Yeah. Between now and, and, and my character leaving the street, um, there's a lot of drama to be right. had. And, and we don't got... exactly know when that's going to be, but it's, we know it's imminent. We yes. know it's imminent, but we yeah. don't know exactly how it's going to pan out. But, uh, but, but you get the dress on and you get the veil on, so we get, we get as far as that. Tough to leave, though, Kim. I would imagine mm. a difficult decision to make because you've had such a brilliant time there. I've had a wonderful time. I've been very, very lucky. I've had some fantastic yeah. storylines. It's been, it's been a great run for me. And, and the, the 13 and a half years just flew by. Gosh, I can't know. believe it's in that amount of time. <laughs> and we don't know yet whether or not the door is going to be open. I hope so. Not giving anything away. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. But what do you think you'll miss the most? Is it just the people? It's the people you work with, cast and crew? Yeah, it's the people. Yeah. You know, I mean, there are obviously going to be uh, people that I stay in touch with. You know, uh, I've made friends for life, you know. Sure. Um, it's like family, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be the crew that I obviously don't see an awful yeah. lot. Which, and, and we do have the best crew, you know, they don't get enough mention really, but they no, are they, they are wonderful. And they work so blinking hard. They do, yeah. Long, they long do. hours. They do. I know you guys do as well. <laughs> the great thing is when, you know, when, when you decide to, to, to make that leap, there's so much else happening in your life now. First of all, Elf. Now, could we get any different from all the high drama <laughs> of that to celebrating Christmas and oh, being an Elf? <laughs> I know. It's an absolutely wonderful show. I can't tell you how much fun I'm having. I know. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I've made some really great friends. Uh, yes. Got to mention Barry Blocks, otherwise he'll never speak to me again. <laughs> um, no, we. Uh, I, I'm having so much fun. Uh, That's great. We, so is, just... it, is it the movie made as a musical? It is. Yeah. Oh, great. But it, it really kind of it really does kind of uh, adapt well. Yeah. Uh, but it's a huge production. It's not just your average kind of show. Right. This it's is a got, spectacular. I mean, it's got people flying through the air. It's got snowballs. It's got a giant Christmas tree around the arena. It's. I mean, there's something going on everywhere because it is an arena tour. So right. It's, so it's huge. Yes. For goodness we, sake. we kick off in Liverpool this week. How's it going? All the all the rehearsals and all that. You're really happy? good. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of fun. It's quite it's quite stressful as well because we've only had two weeks to rehearse and put it. Okay. Together. And is your wee girl part of it? Is she going to be there she with is, you, little Polly? Yeah, she's playing. She's playing two parts now. She's playing in a little elf, uh, and she's also playing. Uh, if you if you know the film, she's the child that's sitting on Santa's knee when Buddy says, "You're not Santa. <laughs> oh. You smell like beef and cheese." <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious. Yes, I watch Elf every year. Yeah, it's, it's such a great thing to be part it's of. About sixteen years old, that film. Oh, for goodness' sake. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> every, every single year it, it comes out, of course. So when is it all kicking off? Did you say uh, it was so this Saturday we start in right. Liverpool at the arena and it, it goes to it goes right. Liverpool, Glasgow, uh, That's great, Kim. London, Wembley and and, uh, and and Dublin. One of the, the sort of good things I suppose about working at Christmas, and obviously you be girls gonna be with you, but your fella's not here. I know. Oh he's he's currently uh, away serving out in uh, 
in the Middle East. He's a handsome big fella, isn't he? he is he a major? He's, he's a major, yes. Major. He's a major in the parachute regiment. And actually, I'm working with Safa at the moment. I'm, I'm kind of helping with their Christmas campaign. Sure. Uh, Great which is charity. Kind of, yeah, we're, we're kind of trying to highlight uh, what we saw, actually, with the with the veteran we just saw on, on, on uh, GMB. GMB. Course, you know, we're highlighting those feelings of loneliness that, that can really kind of be amplified around Christmas time, yeah, not yeah. just for older veterans, but for the armed forces uh, community and families yeah, in general. Yeah, because sometimes so. you're far away from people that you love and it's, it's, it'll be hard, it'll be difficult for you. It is I hope you'll be able hard. to FaceTime them or something on yeah, Christmas Day. Yeah, we will. You do all those little things. We've sent in boxes with Christmas things in and, you know, and you'll FaceTime Christmas Day and things like that. So, oh, it's good. Yeah, and I cannot believe sitting there looking at you. You are a grandma. I know. But you don't get called Grammy, you get called Lolly? Yes, I get called Lolly. Well, uh, Emily's dad likes to call me Nana, which uh, <laughs> I hate him for. Um, but, um, yeah, no, I, listen, I got to grips with the fact that I was going to be a grandparent and I love being a grandparent because he's Isn't it great adorable. being so, He's beautiful and <sighs> you're so young and full of energy and you can spend all of that time with them yeah. and it's just... I just think there's something to be said for that. I know. I, I've, you know, I, I had my my own children very young. Mm. I was 18 when I had David, 21 when I had Emily, and Emily was 21 when she had Teddy. Right. So she's she's going to have a, that kind of relationship sure, with, with, with Ted's as well. But it just means that I've got that. You know, I've, I'm I'm at that stage where I'm a grandparent, but I'm still able to do all the things the mummy would do. So I have friends who are just having children at my age. Of so, course. You know, course. I'm still able. So oh, I'm able to help. I think it works out. But she's a fabulous mummy. She is. <laughs> Very well, so she would be. <laughs> so she would be. She's taking after her own mum. <laughs> as well as the elf things going on, mm. as we said, when you leave something like Coronation Street, all these doors open. Are you going to be doing a movie? I am in the middle of filming that, yeah, That's at the moment. That's fantastic. And is yeah. it Luke Goss or Matt Goss? Luke Goss is in it. Luke Goss is in it. Yes, it's, in it. it's called The Loss Adjuster. And ah. uh, it's a bit of a black comedy. It's kind of, you know, really? there's, a, there's, a, there's some comedy elements to it and there's also uh, some quite serious subject matter going on as well. Um, Luke is just fantastic. Were um, you a Bros fan? I was a Bros fan. So is this a bit odd in, in a, a good way? It was a bit <laughs> weird. And I thought, I'm going to start fangirling and being really odd. But do you know what? He's a lovely, lovely They're man. Both great. Genuinely yeah. nice human being. And put me at ease completely, because he's used to doing movies and he's been in so many of now. Of course, he's been in big, big, giant blockbusters, yeah. he has. Well, I, what an amazing actor. It's good. Well, I really, I've had so much fun. And Martin Kemp's in it, oh. who I'm filming with today. Excellent. Will you give him my love? He's a gorgeous man. I will. Gorgeous man. I love will. him to bits. Have a great time doing the movie. Thank you. Good luck with Elf, a Christmas spectacular. It starts this Saturday, as we said, in yeah. Liverpool Arena. Then it's on tour across the UK. And of course, we'll see you in Corey as well. You will. Tomorrow, half seven and half eight. Yes. Double Corey, double trouble. It's a big week. This it week. sure is. Very great big. Great to see you, Kim. Thanks so much. Lovely to see you. Have a great Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, you too. Too.